New information tonight. Vermont's trash has not been collected in a timely manner in the city of Mobile, and the dispute between Public Works employees and the city is only getting worse. 29 employees are on leave tonight after taking time off to bring up their concerns, claiming a hostile work environment. It came up again today at City Council, one day after hearings began that could result in those 29 employees losing their jobs. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro was there and has new details tonight. Cassie? Kim, 29 Public Works employees suspended, and that's just a portion of the Public Works employees who feel mistreated and bullied tonight, fearing they could lose their jobs. For 13 weeks, the city has lagged behind on trash. Trash is basically debris, not to be confused with household garbage you toss into bins. Employees say they're being bullied and mistreated by Supervisor Jeffrey Dees, which came up again at City Council today. Mr. Dees was harassing the workers. So far, nothing has been done. Almost 50 Public Works employees have signed a letter saying they all feel harassed. They're also afraid to speak out. It brings great concerns when you have someone come um, weekly and discuss the same thing over and over and over. The greatest concern Public Works employees have told us about is retaliation. As two dozen of them face being fired, there are questions if that's legitimate. City spokesman George Talbot says hearings are already underway for those employees. Depending on the outcome of those, there's a, a appeal process where they can go to the personnel board. So for anyone waiting on trash pickup, it's not any easier with fewer employees. We just need a little bit of patience. It is a top priority. There is no question we are putting every resource we can into getting caught up and we'll get there. If you have debris on the side of your street waiting to be picked up, you might see some new faces on those trash trucks. Supervisors and other Public Works employees are picking up the slack. For now, reporting in Mobile, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News.